The Democratic Alliance wants to lay criminal charges against former Communications Minister Faith Mutambi for political interference in the editorial policies of the SABC. The Commission of Inquiry into Editorial Interference has found that the newsroom took instructions from former minister and former board member Ellen Chabalala. Inquiry Chair Veteran Journalist Joe Tolle, however, said there's no evidence of a direct link between the SABC and the ANC's headquarters, although he could not rule it out. Out. Kolo said during former COO Claudia Mutwening's tenure between 2012 and 2017, the broadcaster suffered from abuse of authority and power to terrorize staff. 58 submissions, a year-long inquiry into the state of the SABC's newsroom between 2012 and 2017. Claudia Mutwening, chief operations officer for most of the time. SABC suffered from the capricious use of authority and power to terrorize staff and to deflect from the corporation to deflect the corporation from its mandate and its editorial policies we found an organization crippled by pain and anger and fear by frustration anxiety and apathy and by inattentiveness, detachment and helplessness. The inquiry recommends that some of the decisions taken on Mutsuening's instructions be reviewed. We recommend that Mutsuening's instructions to human resources to institute disciplinary hearings against employees or to dismiss promote or appoint others must be reviewed. Also, human resources need to do an audit of the appointments, promotions, or sideways shifts of senior news management. And the people we single out here are Notando Maseko, Sebulelo Di Tlakanyane, and Charles Matko. We singled these out because we managed to have a look at their appointment processes and we believe that that needs to be checked. Responding to the report, Mutsuening says that the impartiality of the report is questionable and that he does not regret empowering women at the SABC. Nothing wrong about the appointment of Notando Maseko. In any case, I don't apologize to put, to put women on top at the SABC because that is what I was looking to do. The commission cautioned against a witch hunt for the so-called enforcers, saying that it would divide an already fractured institution. The SABC, however, says it will act against transgressions. The SABC commits to taking urgent disciplinary action against those implicated. In terms of the SABC disciplinary code, and policies. The notion that holding those implicated in wrongdoing accountable would be seen as wish hunt is rejected. In fact, it is part of the terms of reference of the inquiry to recommend appropriate corrective action which may include disciplinary action where there is misconduct. It is the SAPC view that due process must be followed when there is evidence of transgression of SAPC's policies and procedures and related misconduct. The SAPC wants to put, it, put on record that it will not tolerate any interference with editorial independence of the newsroom. Former Communications Minister Faith Mutambi and former SABC board member Ellen Shabalala say they will study the report before commenting. Mahlako Komane, SABC News, Johannesburg.